I'm experimenting with something right now. Over the past four weeks, I have undergone high frequency hypertrophy or bodybuilding work. Now, this does not mean I'm hitting all my muscle groups three to four times a week. That's impossible to do. It's just never going to work. But I have upped the frequency on some muscle groups, and I'll explain what I've done. So I've never been too big of a fan of lateral raises, and I stumbled upon a variation that I feel really, really hits my side delts. It's upright rows with a rope. So I loop a thick rope through the kettlebells and I do upright rows with them instead of a bar, a straight bar, or an easy curl. But I'm doing this four times a week on my upper and lower workouts. And I'm supersetting them with neck because I also want to increase the frequency of my neck stimuli or stimulus. Maybe if I talk like this, more people will uh, watch my video so they can jerk off with the scientific terms. But Right now I'm doing delts and neck. I'm doing it four times a week and I'm gonna experiment doing it for a month. I noticed after one week, I noticed the difference and it got me thinking, what if someone were to just specialize with this high frequency bodybuilding for one or two exercises and just did that multiple times per week, specifically for weak points? Going forward, I'm gonna try doing this with my arms, I'm gonna try doing this with hamstring, glutes, calves, anything like that. I do it at the end of my workout. The way my workouts are typically structured right now, let's say an upper body workout, I have a heavy push, a heavy pull, maybe some dumbbell pressing, some triceps, some loaded carries, and then I'll do the two high frequency bodybuilding exercises at the end of the training session. Now, what gave me this idea, I was looking at a couple of vlogs of uh, Olympic weightlifters and they would do all their cleans, all their jerks, all their Olympic movement related stuff in their main training session. Then at the end, they would do rows, uh, Lou raises, shoulder work, dips even. So typical bodybuilding stuff at the end of their workouts. So this gave me the idea, because I'm not an Olympic weightlifter, if I could apply those same principles to my general strength training, whatever. And so far, I think it's good. I just do 50 to 100 total reps of both exercises, making sure the weight is challenging enough, making sure I'm getting a nice pump. The load is not that heavy because at the end of the day, you can only push two out of the three, either frequency, intensity, or volume. You can never push all three at once. And if you do, it can only be done for a very short period of time. But I have noticed that this is working so far. So I'll do a little bit more experimentation with it and probably put out a video on how you could program it for yourself. But for right now, I'm just doing 50 to 100 reps of those two exercises at the end of my training session. Try it out for yourself. See the results you get.